as much as we put things on our hair what goes inside is so so important because ultimately you can put all sorts on your hair but if you're depleted inside you have no chance hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jemima and on this channel I share all things hair and lifestyle so I'm sure you've already seen the thumbnail my hair fell out again yeah let's talk about it so just a trigger warning before we start there's going to be a lot of talk about sickness vomiting and diarrhea in this video so if you don't want to hear any of that then i'd advise that you go watch another one of my videos and yeah and i shall see you next time bye so in this video, I am going to tell you how and when my hair fell out. I am going to blow out my hair in order to assess the true extent of the shedding that I experienced. I may trim or cut my hair if necessary. That's only if I absolutely have to. Lastly, I'm going to share my new hair care routine that I've been doing since the hair fall. So if you want to find out what I've been doing and the results that I've been getting, then stick around. So how and when did my hair fall out? So just a quick background to the hair routine that I had planned at the beginning of this year. So at the beginning of this year, I came here and I trimmed my hair with you guys, which went wrong if you've seen it. I ended up cutting too much and then since then i it sort of like threw me into like a growth place so i just wanted to grow my hair back so i cut too long of the nape hairs so i lost that v-shape that i have naturally um so i want that back so that's why i wanted to like grow my hair so i switched from only caring about the health of my hair to now wanting health and length so the whole blowout and trim was in january and then february march i was experimenting with wash and goes so the plan was to do one month wash and go and then one month twists so i wanted to do like to do best of both worlds right so i invested in all the all the gels and then i tried wash and go for a bit and it just wasn't happening and then i realized that actually this is not what i want so I think I started doing, I think in, in April, I started doing twists. So I did like chunky twists without stretching my hair. And then that took me into May. So towards the end of May, 23rd of May, we had a family holiday. So we went to Lanzarote with the kids, myself and my husband. And we went to like a kid friendly resort so it was like families there were grandparents they were loads of kids there were like playground for the kids there was even like a little crash for the kids as well like it was super kid friendly when we went to eat there was buggies everywhere just prams everywhere so yeah it was that kind of holiday kids everywhere and you know where their kids it's just a little bit nasty you know they just carry all the germs <laughs> let's just put it like that so we got there i washed my hair before we left but i didn't moisturize or do any styling so i just had my hair in um i think two two braids and then when we got there i then blew out my hair without heat protectant i don't know if that affected my hair at all but i didn't blow i didn't use a, deep, a heat protectant because i didn't take any with me and our phones died so i had no idea how long it took me to blow out my hair and also to put my hair in twists but i feel within me that it took about four hours that's just how i feel <laughs> so that was that we had our holiday i think we were there for about seven days the twists were great i loved loved them um, I was very much in love with my hair because of the progress that I had made in growing it back. It wasn't fully there, but a lot of the thickness was coming back. So, like I said, it was a kid's holiday. The place was pretty much slightly yucky. Um, where we went to eat, I didn't see them cleaning and disinfecting tables. The most I saw was like somebody wiping 
off the tables with like a dry sort of like tissue paper so you can tell like the hygiene situation of the place it's not great i remember there was another time i took my eldest to the toilet whilst we were eating and tell me why we're coming out now i am washing my my boy's hands and these two little kids walk right out of the cubicle and straight out of the toilet without washing their hands so that place was just infested with germs just as nurseries are because these kids are disgusting okay also i missed out one thing whilst we were there i think as soon as we got there we all started feeling a little bit unwell we were catching like some type of cold but not really so like you know if you have toddlers and they are in nursery you know what i mean like they go and they pick up all sorts and this place was like nursery germs on crack because you can imagine the these germs were coming from like all over the world right to this resort so <laughs> we were just like exposed to so many different things so we get back home now i think we got home on monday and then by tuesday i go get my son out of his bed i make him his breakfast and as soon as i think i don't even think i was making his breakfast i was making his brother's breakfast and as soon as he saw it he just threw up and i was just like what is going on so we deal with that i go on and make his breakfast as soon as he saw that too he threw up then i realized that he was becoming very clingy he didn't want anything he didn't want any water he didn't want any food he just wanted to breastfeed and then probably like maybe half an hour later i thought oh let me try and give him some yogurt as soon as the yogurt touched his mouth he threw up so i was like okay this child is not well so yeah i take him to the gp and then they say that he's got the stomach flu now if you don't know what the stomach flu is it's basically a bug that just gives you diarrhea and vomiting yeah so he had that so from tuesday to friday he was sick and then friday he got better and when somebody has this stomach flu obviously the virus comes out in the vomiting and in the these tools so this is a baby that i'm changing i'm cleaning vomit he's vomiting on me i'm changing his um his nappies he's very clingy it's just me and my eldest as well who's also only two and a bit so there's a lot going on and something went wrong somewhere i probably ended up spreading the the virus somehow so my 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 baby got well on friday and then saturday now i wake up and i tell i tell my husband because we usually attend church on saturday i say i don't feel very well i feel nauseous but i don't know why so he's like okay if you're not feeling well then i'll take our elders to church and then you keep the baby because it's too much to take the two kids on your own so i keep the baby and then he goes to church and it's just me and the baby we're, we're chilling i'm struggling but you know i'm not too bad so they get back from church in the afternoon and as soon as they get back i let rip like i was just i had the biggest throw up and about 20 minutes after my first throw up my eldest had his first throw up so it dawned on me we've caught the stomach flu and that was us for the next three days my son was in his room i was in my room barely saw each other had my husband looking after both of us anything that went into my mouth came right out so the first and second day was just vomiting nothing stayed down and then the second day i could eat something i had an orange that stayed down and i think i had a cracker as well so those are two things in three days but i ended up getting diarrhea at the same time as <laughs> vomiting so keep that in mind so we get better and this whole time i still have those twists that i put in when we were on holiday in lanzarote because now it's a week after getting back from lanzarote and i didn't take this out until mid july when we're about to go to another holiday 
right so we we're gonna go to zim and that's when i was sort of forced to wash my hair so i can't remember what day i washed my hair so i think hmm, i'm thinking the 17th of july was zim and then probably the 15th i washed my hair i probably washed my son's hair a few days before mine so when i washed his hair i realized that his hair had broken a lot i'll put some videos and pictures that i took um hair especially at the back here he'd lost quite a bit of hair his hair just looked really thin and just really frail and he's got really nice hair so okay i wash his hair style it I trimmed it I think I trimmed probably like between an inch to two and a half inches so yeah that's that so a few days later now I'm doing my hair I'm taking my hair out my mom helped me so I'm noticing that I'm getting a, you know a bit more hair than usual shedding I'd had this in for about six weeks or more at this point so I was expecting a lot of shedding but not at the rate that I was seeing so I was quite alarmed and also my hair felt very rough like it just didn't feel nice at all so again i spent the day before our flight washing my hair and i didn't do anything to it didn't moisturize it nothing so i did all that when we went when we got to zim i just took just enough product i took um two oils one for my scalp and one for my hair and then a moisturizer and some spritz and that's it that's all i took so literally just the basics i'll link the the products that i used whilst i was in zim so yeah and then it was just like one of those days when i was in zim because it took quite a few days to actually do my hair in zim as well um because we we're really busy and it dawned on me that the reason why my eldest son's hair fell out and then my hair fell out is because we were both sick back in june that's the only denominator between our situations because his hair has never fallen out before and mine really just had no reason to just fall out like that and remember in my video uh, when I was sharing my hair loss story I talked about how when you're deficient in some nutrients the body is likely to neglect the hair the nails and other non-vital organs just so to keep you alive so i think when we got sick and we couldn't keep any food in basically we did we were nutrient deficient because we, we couldn't even eat the body just concentrated on our vital organs to the point where our hair really suffered so it all made sense and when it clicked for me i was really really upset because up until then this sickness had done a lot for me it helped me shed all of my baby weight i tell you no lie i lost so much weight like my bump had gone down and i was just like this is the best thing that could have come out of this sickness right i lost so much weight but obviously at the time i didn't know that i'd also lost my hair you know so i was really upset because like i said my hair fall got really bad in 2020 and since 2020 to 2023 or just the beginning of 2023 i saw a huge difference and my hair looking close to what it was before even to the point where i made this video whilst i still had those twists in from lanzarote and i think i filmed that video after the sickness isn't that ironic my hair is falling out and i'm making a video sharing about how my hair has recovered from hair fall but then it happened again but i didn't know and it just goes to show how important it is that as much as we put things on our hair what goes inside is so so important because ultimately you can put all sorts on your hair but if you're depleted inside you have no chance basically so i went off camera and blew out my hair just so we can really assess the extent of the damage that my hair has endured do you remember when i cut my hair in january i think my hair is back because after i cut my hair it was like here i think and this is hair from from there but the hairs at the back which is what i like to use 
as my length parameters I think when I pulled it was like here and then now it's almost under my boobs and this is with a few dust in here and there because I vowed to myself that I wasn't going to cut my hair <laughs> after what happened in January that I was just going to trim to have it grow out and then see what happens but now that my hair has fallen out again I might need to do a little bit of a trim but I need to really see what's going on first before we do that one thing that I realized when I was blowing out my hair is that the bottom half of my hair seems to be suffering a lot more from single strand knots and just like it breaking when I like touch it like see <laughs> like this can you even see it like this I literally touched my hair and this this hair just came out so that's what I'm talking about I have a lot of these with the bottom of my hair like the hairs at the bottom half of my hair but the ones at the top they're fine the ends are smooth very strong doesn't break when I touch it so I have no idea what that means so I don't know whether in the process of them keeping them in twist maybe I, I wasn't looking after them properly or there was just too much contact with my clothes I don't know but I need to figure it out because it doesn't make sense so now I've already blown out my hair so what I'm gonna do is show you where my hair fell out most and it's generally at the back here which was the same for my son a lot of his hair fall was like around here close to the crown so in regards to the damage I am going to show you places where I got it really bad and every time I lose hair I seem to lose it really badly at the front so it's basically like a <laughs> A repeat of the first situation so as you can see this is very very thin very very thin and when I look at the hairs that have fallen out and how the remains are looking it looks like it was the older hairs that fell out not the not the new growth that is filling in but the hairs that were always there so that's why the hairs that are remaining are shorter because those were the the new ones that were growing out from the first round of breakage years ago so this is what it's looking like i don't even know if you can see it this is what it looks like really really bad like not great at all okay so if i was to trim I should probably trim it here because so the plan was not to trim and to just grow it out and just trim as I go but it's just looking quite bad and then at the bottom bits when I touch it I do guess it's breaking off so I thought I might as well just trim those even though there's nothing wrong with the top part of my hair So uh, this is it. <laughs> what do you think? Do you guys think I should trim or just leave it? But this is it. Pretty bad, isn't it? You see all that thickness just stops here. And then the rest is just see through. And then the next one is the sides so these got it quite bad as well and then I'll show you the back next and then we can do the crown which also always suffers during something like this so as you can see it's just very thin like the hairs just Around a whole lot before I was just 
there so I've retained quite a bit of length as well as even trimming I think I have um, I've dusted my ends like three times yeah I've dusted my ends three times I dusted my ends um, before zoom whilst in zoom and then when I got back so that's not bad at all okay so you've already seen I don't know if I showed you my crown so this is part of my crown this is the front bit so literally just see through there's no hair on this side at all just broken off This one as well just so see-through okay so I'm just going to trim the ends and then slowly trim the rest of the hair as it grows like I did the first time around um, and then yeah this bit was quite bad this bit was hit quite bad I bet you can just tell by how this looks so if you look at this, I'll show you a picture next to it, um, how my twists were looking before. The thickness of them and the thickness of this right now, it's ridiculous. So I'll go with this. So look, already so thin. So, 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 so thin. Yep, that's it. It's like a big area with such little hairs. It's ridiculous. So my hair is here and before it was like there. So not bad since January. It's a, it's a lot of length retention. So I'm not half half mad I'm just mad about the thickness so. so you can see like the thickness sort of like stops here I don't know why it just so happened it's really bad at the back so I don't know so this is, you can see, <laughs> so all the shorter hairs, so like I said it seems like it's the longer hairs that fell out leaving the, the newer hairs. So there's this one as well, you can see that, look at that. How bad is that? That is so bad. So that's like my crown. So, 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 so bad. So that's what it looks like. Not good. Not good at all. Like literally if I'm to cut it, I need to cut it here. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want any like harsh layers, I'm just going to trim as though the thickness is fine and just keep it all the same length as it is and just let it grow out slowly. That's the plan. And the funny thing is, even though my hair is falling out right, it still looks pretty good. <laughs> That's wild, isn't it? It just fluffs up and just, I don't know how it does it, but it can really hide a multitude of sins, my hair. Like, it could be in the worst shape, but so long as it's not straightened, I can hide a lot in it. <laughs> that's why you never see me straightening my hair, because when I straighten my hair, you will see all the mess that's gone going on with it. <laughs> and we can't have that. So I am going to trim. I'm going to use that same video I used a while back. 
and then we're going to see how that goes so i decided to end the video here as it was getting a bit too long so please watch out for part two where i'm going to show you how i trimmed my hair and the results of that and i may add the sort of things i've been doing to my hair since august up until now in that video as well but until then thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye